Hey, what's up? Facebook, YouTube, um, your boy Uzumaki. Just wanted to take a video of an update on the bike. I put a little bit more work in today. I decided to mount my handlebars back on. The Go Power Sports um, front struts or shocks, whatever you want to call them. And I finally got the motor somewhat bolted in. The clutch is on, but then these this bolt that I have right here is a little too long. So I gotta order the proper bolt for it. Either that or cut that down. I don't really wanna cut that down because uh, it's a perfect thread going in. And if you cut it and you don't grind it down perfectly, you can mess up the threads on your crankshaft and I don't wanna deal with that. But I did install my header wrapped twice just to keep the heat off my butt. Um, I still need to buy some of the ceramic spray to coat that. So I just put it on as a dry fit. I'll probably take it off and end up doing that uh, probably later. I did get that Coleman tank in. Worked perfect. Thanks to one of the guys, I can't remember his name in the group, uh, the Mini Bike Builders of America, that suggested I go with a Coleman tank. I just so happen to have one laying around. I put one in and now I have an offset uh, fill hole, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I set up the throttle linkage. So that's working. Good return. I may add another spring. I, there's two springs on here. This is one of the original springs, and I added another spring on here. I may add a um, return spring from here to here um, because you can never have too many return springs. If it's one thing I learned from RC and nitro engines, you want a good return spring because if this ever fails, if this ever fails or this ever comes loose, if that spring breaks, you got that spring or you have another spring, you always want good spring return on your carburetor. You don't want to have a runaway. I've had RC cars run away at 60 miles per hour and run out into the street and get ran over by a car. I could not imagine having one of these you know 40 50 miles per hour carbs stuck wide open all because the return spring broke and now you're riding on it and um you can end up getting hurt uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of guys have a lot of road rash pictures from them having a stuck open carb or runaway or the bike you know this thing when you get a 212 in there built it does have enough torque to pick up the front wheels and if the car gets stuck wide open and it lays the power down and you happen to go in a wheelie you'll be sitting on the ground and that bike is still going to continue to go uh, i don't want that so i will be adding another spring here for safety measures i still have some more stuff to put up on it i have to um, remove some links add some links to my chain Still have to tighten down the motor, and once I get the chain link set up and everything, um, get a breather for this. I have the filter for that. Uh, put the front tire on, and um, get the plastics. Uh, I don't know now if I'll have to cut my plastic. I probably will have to cut the plastic here, uh, which I'll probably just have a short plastic to clear the valve cover. And once I get my bolt in, wire up my cutoff. And um, pretty soon I'll take it for a test drive. So yeah, it's moving along, slow and steady. Not in a big rush to finish it, because again, I do have my other uh, old faithful, old glory, faithful glory, whatever you want to call it, uh, to put put around the neighborhood for now. And um, well, I think that's it. So short video, five minutes or less. So any comments, questions, likes, subscribes, shares, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody by any means. It's been a while since I posted up a video on YouTube or Facebook of any of my progress that I've done on any of my builds. I used to be heavy into the RC stuff. Um, I've always had, a, you know, uh, the mini bike stuff and small engines have always had a place in my heart for them. Um, I just haven't had the time with work and life lately uh, to do anything and this whole COVID thing and being, you know, furloughed uh, kind of gave me a chance to crack open the garage and go through some of my old projects. Um, I've been trying to get my shop, my garage organized. 
I finally have my bench set up. Some of my tools are set up. Wood lathe. I like to dabble in a little bit of everything. So I have a little bit of tools for everything. Just gotta get everything organized a little bit better. Um, I've been heavy into the 3D printers this past couple months too. So I have a couple 3D printers. I'll do a video of one of those uh, in a little bit and go from there. I think I'm gonna focus more on my YouTube video uh, or my Facebook to be more of just a of an everything that I'm kind of into. I like helping people and suggesting stuff that works, things that I've done, my ex personal experiences, uh, getting people's opinions on stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, excuse me if I don't show myself on this video. I don't tend to kind of put myself in too many of my videos. I prefer to show my work than my face. Uh, you know my name, those who know me on Facebook uh, know who I am, know what I look like. Uh, so nobody wants to look at my ugly mug anyways. It doesn't really matter. Uh, most people like to see the work that I'm doing, the things that I am working on. Um, that's, let's get it right. That's what everybody tunes into YouTube, not to see your face. <laughs> but anyways, um, y'all have a blessed one. And this is Uzumaki signing out.